Welcome back to Cheddar News. This next segment is brought to you by Webull, learning, sharing, and investing. Experience the new and improved version of the trading app you already love. Now, while Webull is the presenting sponsor of this segment, the opinions and statements expressed in the following are Cheddar's. All right, so retirement is almost always top of mind after those long days, weeks, months, and years hard at work. The COVID-19 pandemic, though, added a huge amount of economic uncertainty to the already uncertain topic of retirement. So saving for retirement is a different journey, of course, for everyone, and there are many ways, though, to plan and save. So joining us now to discuss some of these ways is David Peters, founder and owner of David Peters Financial Group. Uh, David, I'm sure we're all dreaming of one day retiring one way or another. Uh, many people save, of course, through their 401k plans. But what are your options if you are self-employed or going to be self-employed or if your company uh, does not offer a 401k plan? Well, you have uh, some options available for sure. Um, probably the the uh, easiest option that's available is you can uh, save by contributing to an IRA, either a traditional IRA or a Roth IRA. Um, basically, all you need uh, to contribute to an IRA is you just need some earned income. What does that mean? All that means really is uh, typically it just means either wages or self-employment income. Now, if you're self-employed though, you also have some other options on the table. Uh, we may be able to take advantage of a SEP or possibly a solo 401k. That may be a possibility as well. Why would you wanna do that? Well, in certain instances, uh, depending on how much profit your business has, you may be able to contribute more to a SEP or a solo 401k as opposed to an IRA. So you kind of touched on my next question there in terms of what would you say to someone who, you know, does have a 401k but is thinking of opening up an IRA account? Um, I mean, I would say go for it. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I generally speaking, I like uh, having some options and I like having some uh, retirement accounts that uh, aren't necessarily connected with your employer. And uh, an IRA, really what that is, is that is a uh, retirement plan that is not connected with an employer. We can open one online. We can open one uh, at a bank or something like that. Um, the only thing that I would say is, though, is that if you are working and you do have uh, a, a 401k that is available to you, um, if you start to get into the higher income levels, uh, then you may not be able to take a tax deduction for your contributions to your IRA if you have both, okay? So, so that's just something to, uh, to, just be, uh, to, to just be aware of. But is there any problems with uh, having both? Absolutely not. So in terms of an IRA or individual retirement account, to your point, it can be an extremely useful tool when kind of planning for the future and for retirement. But can you break down for our audience exactly what an IRA is? Sure. Um, an IRA really is a uh, retirement account that is not connected with an employer. So, you know, our 401k accounts or 403bs, uh, those types of things, generally speaking, those are uh, kind of connected with a particular employer. An IRA really isn't. Uh, an IRA is something that we can get uh, on uh, the, uh, on uh, just from a bank or online. Um, and um, generally, uh, those are going to be available to, to uh, it, we're going to be able to control to those if you have uh, earned income. I mean, that is, uh, you know, so it's a very, uh, you know, so that's, that's really uh, the difference there. Also, those are portable too, because they're not connected with an employer. So if I leave my job, I don't have to roll it over. Gotcha. And then in terms of a traditional IRA and a Roth IRA, what's the difference there? So really the big difference is, is in terms of how they're actually taxed. Uh, so with a traditional IRA, um, I have the ability, uh, if I meet the income requirements uh, and the earned income requirements, uh, I have the ability to take a tax deduction when I contribute to a traditional IRA. You're never gonna get a tax deduction by contributing to a Roth IRA. Both of those accounts are gonna grow tax-free um, over time. And uh, then what is gonna happen is, is that once we get into retirement and we start pulling from those accounts, if I pull from a traditional account, that is gonna be taxable income. I'm gonna get taxed on whatever I pull from a traditional IRA. However, if I pull from a Roth, that's going to be tax exempt income. OK, so uh, so I'm not going to have to pay taxes on amounts that I pull from a Roth IRA. So really, the big difference is just in terms of how they're taxed. Gotcha. And beyond, you know, how they're taxed, can you just talk about what's the benefits of a traditional IRA account? 
Yeah, absolutely. So, I, I mean, the big thing that you get from a uh, traditional IRA is you get some flexibility. I can make a contribution to a traditional IRA uh, basically if I have earned income, and uh, there's nothing sort of stopping me from making a contribution, even when I get into the higher income levels. However, what can happen is, is if I'm getting into the higher income levels and I also have access to a 401k, then I may not be able to take a tax deduction, but I can always contribute. Um, and uh, I also have some flexibility in terms of when I contribute. So a, a 401k, um, I can only make uh, contributions during the tax year. However, I can make contributions to a traditional IRA basically at any point up to the, up to the due date of the tax return. So I can make a 2021 contribution all the way up to April 15, 2022. And then I guess on the flip side of this, what's the benefit scenario in terms of why someone would, would proceed with a Roth IRA account? Roth IRAs, the big advantage, uh, like I mentioned just a minute ago, is, is that I have tax-free income in retirement, okay? Mm -hmm. So when I'm pulling money out of that Roth IRA, uh, that's going to be tax-free. And so that can really be a benefit if uh, we see instances of rising tax rates. Uh, so, uh, you know, if the tax rates are going to be higher uh, when we're in retirement, then, you know, generally speaking, uh, that's that's going to be great for us uh, because we're going to be able to pull out uh, tax exempt income um, when uh, uh, tax rates are a little bit higher. Yeah, obviously, as we kind of alluded to earlier, a lot of these scenarios depend on an individual's, you know, circumstance and certainly their outlook moving forward. Thanks for your insight, David Peters, founder and owner of David Peters Financial Group.